exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to a little bit of a preview for the ne the next upcoming Ohio State Buckeye game. We've got Ohio State and Rutgers today at 3:30. That's right. Now to break down this game and to preview this game, we got to do a little bit of history. So over the past, I don't know, I'd say decade, maybe a little bit longer than that, Rutgers has been known as a team that is very, 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 very bad. Usually, Rutgers is, is the underdog by at least a minimum of 40 points. And I'm not sure what the line on this game is, but this Rutgers team is a little bit different. They gave Michigan a, a game last week. They ended up losing that game, but they did compete. And for what we think Michigan is this year, which we think they're, uh, it hurts me to say this, but we think they're a little bit better. I think they're a pretty decent team this year. And they gave them a game. So does that worry Ohio State fans? It probably shouldn't. Because at the end of the day, this is the same kind of conversation that we always have with teams lesser than Ohio State. Your talent should win out in the end. It doesn't matter what kind of scheme they run. It doesn't matter how hyped up they are for this game. It doesn't matter that Greg Schiano is a former coach and he's gonna of uh, Ohio State and he's gonna try and prove that he's he's gonna try and prove that he's better. That he's gonna try and get this team on the map again. It doesn't matter about that because Rutgers is a lesser talent. They recruit lesser people. So Ohio State should win this game. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout, but maybe a 15, 20 point victory for Ohio State as long as the, it all relies on this defense. It all relies on how this defense plays. Will this defense get exposed like against Oregon or even against Tulsa? Or will this defense play like they did every drive except for the first drive of the game against Akron because that's what we really are are here about I mean CJ Stroud's gonna play he sat out last week against Akron to to uh rest the shoulder up and get it ready for this game so the keys were always gonna be CJ's it was never gonna be Kyle McCord or never gonna be Jack Miller depending not even depending on how good they played in, in the game against Akron it was always gonna be CJ so He's supposedly 100% again. He's all healed up from that shoulder injury, whatever shoulder injury it was. Um, so he's going to start. And as long as CJ plays almost a perfect game, not a, I shouldn't say perfect game. As long as CJ distributes the ball and is accurate, the Buckeyes will win this game. Because I don't feel that Rutgers has the talent to stop Travion Henderson or Mayan Williams, or Master T. I don't feel like they can stop the run. They may, it may seem like that at the beginning, but I don't think that they have the talent on defense, the quickness on defense to be able to catch those guys because all three of those guys are fast. I mean, obviously Travion is fast, the fastest one, but all three of them got some wheels. So I don't think they have the guys that are quick enough to catch those guys, and plus all three of those guys are really hard to bring down. So as long as Ohio State can run the football, very consistently it doesn't even have to be with Travion it could be with any one of the three and CJ hits his targets and doesn't overthrow him it'll be much better and this is one of those games since Rutgers has been playing more consistently over this past season they're much better than they were previously this is a game where you can start to take little things away from this Buckeye team now I talked previously about the Tulsa game and about the the Akron game, wow, those are inferior opponents where you can't necessarily take things away because 
the, the, the talent against the Buckeyes defense is not equivalent. And now we're starting to get into the part of the season where that's not true, where the talent is actually getting closer to good talent that the Buckeye defense is going to play. Now, I'm not saying Rutgers is that talent, but we are getting to games against Penn State, Michigan State, Michigan. We're getting to those kind of games, and that's where the defense is going to be really tested. So this is a good starting point to see where this defense is at. Do they have the confidence now after beating Akron by so much? Do they have they found their rhythm or are there still big holes? Are there still questions to be answered? I don't know. We'll have to find out at 3:30 when this game kicks off. So as I like I said as long as CJ doesn't overthrow his passes, I would like to see CJ run a couple of times just to just to throw that in as something that the defense for Rutgers would have to think about on a possession. Maybe it's like a second down and 7 and CJ runs for 6 or runs for a first down or something, and then the defense is like, oh, this guy's actually going to run. There's the possibility of him running. Well, then we got to defend that. That should open up more passing lanes and in turn open up more running lanes because then they're thinking, oh, should we defend the pass? And then Travion Henderson breaks off for 60. So it it's all works in combination. And as long as CJ, I would like to see him. I don't know if he's going to do it, but I would like to see him run at least two or three times just to put it in the, in the defense's head that it's a possibility that he could run because... Without him, without the possibility of him running, it's really just like it's a it it limits what the offense can do, and I feel like it it puts CJ in more of a box and it makes him throw the the pass a little bit high. I feel like if he was running a little bit more, it would open up those passing lanes because the defense would play softer to try and cover him running, and then he would be able to find those open passing lanes. So. I don't know. I just I would like to see CJ run. That's one little thing that I would like to see. I'd like to see Trayvon Henderson um, continue his hot streak. And obviously, I need to see some good stuff from this defense. So I know Rutgers quarterback is pretty decent. And I think they got a pretty decent deep threat wide receiver. So um, it's going to be a very interesting game. I obviously think the Buckeyes are going to win. Uh, like I said, it's probably going to be a 15, 20 point victory. I would hope maybe even more depending on uh, how good this Buckeye team plays today. So I'm going to say in the range of a 40 to 20 victory in that in that sort of range like a 20 point victory so that's going to be my prediction 40 to 20 i feel like they're going to miss an extra point or something somewhere the Rutgers team will uh, and yeah that's going to be my that's going to be my prediction so uh, i hope the buckeyes get this w they need to get this w to stay in playoff contention and to stay in uh, big 10 championship contention because uh, there's some teams in this in this conference and in in this division that are pretty decent this year. So it's going to be a tough year. But as long as CJ gets going, he hits his passes. This defense look good, looks good, and uh, the running game gets going. Buckeyes should win. So let me know down below what you guys think. Get ready for the kickoff if you guys are excited. 3:30 is the kick on uh, on BTN, I think Big Ten Network. So. Make sure you guys are there. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.